Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Ah, ah. Where my devil horns at? Ah, Capricorn. If you like this reading at any moment in time, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys. Happy Thursday to you guys. Hope you guys are having many blessings. What's the overall energy in this Capricorn reading here? What's the overall energy in this Capricorn reading here? It's communication coming in here. All right. Capricorn. There's an earth sign Capricorn or fire sign here. I feel like this person here, since you guys haven't been talking, has been definitely been thinking about you. Thinking about the mistakes, wanting to make things right, wanting to come to you and, you know, gift you, um, speak to you, um, do nice things for you. Um, I feel like this person here has been waiting a long time for this, all right? There's a sense of, I don't know, this person here, um, they don't want to wait. It's like they don't want to wait. They want it, they want it right now. And um, I feel like they've probably even heard things like, oh, you know, don't talk to to you or whatever the case may be, but they don't care. Let's clarify this uh, Eight of Pentacles here. This person here feels very, 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 very bonded to you. I would say this person feels very, very, very bonded. I feel they feel really sad and out of place when you're not around. They feel like maybe you judged them unfairly in the past. <laughs> they want to speak to you. They want to speak to you. Hmm. They feel like you may not want a commitment with them. They feel like you may not even want to work on another relationship with them. But I feel like they they want to try anyway. All right, Capricorn? They want to try. <laughs> They've been thinking about it, man. They've been thinking about that ass, man. They've been like, ah. They're like sitting there like, I could only have my Capricorn back. I would let them know how I truly feel. Ugh. <laughs> they can't get you out their mind. All right, what else can you tell me about this person here? All right. All right, let's see. Let's keep talking about this person here. Okay. All right. They may feel. Like this may not, this may not <laughs> go in their favor, but they're willing to try anyway. They become, they have become obsessed. <laughs> obsessed. All right. What else can you tell me? Oh shit. They just want you basically to forgive them they don't want to wait they feel like y'all connection has suffered enough can we deal with the water sign fire sign here got pisces yeah this, this person's coming in here gifting you traveling to you i feel like they're secretly obsessed with you i keep getting obsession all right i keep getting obsession the rat is obsessed with you. 
You work hard for the money, but you don't know a difference between a roach and a rat. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Obsessed. What else? They just want to make things right. They feel like they fucked up in the past and they want to make things right, all right? The Roach wants to redecorate the Roach Motel to make it right. <laughs> yeah, they want to bring balance to this one connection that has failed in the past. All right. What's in their emotions? They're gonna come back being respectful. They're gonna come back being, you know, on their best behavior because they want their Capricorn ass back. <laughs> they're gonna be more romantic, more receptive, not making the mistakes they're making before. They're gonna show you their vulnerability again. They're gonna show you the reasons why you fell in love with them. And they believe that they could make it happen with you. They never gave up on you. They're longing for you for a very long period of time. You know, I can't really talk about this person here like a rat or a roach as much as the other readings. Because I see this person here coming in, you know, trying to do their best, right? I feel like you like, you, you, <laughs> it's like, this is kind of gestures, I feel like. But at the same time, I feel like you do like being around this person. Um, you do find a sense of comfort around this person. But I don't think you want to invest 100% in this person. Let's see. There's a sense of instability with this person here. Um, I feel like they, you know, you see that they're trying to, to stop their in and out behavior, but I don't feel like a hundred, like a hundred percent that you're willing, that you want to, you know, give this person all your emotions. But this person here is just obsessed with you. They think you're the sun. They want to lick you. They want to screw you. They want to screw you through the wall, marry you, and screw you again. I'm like, damn, this kind of energy here is crazy. <laughs> the tower, page of rods, page of cups in reverse. Hmm. This person would do anything. I don't. I. I just really believe this person would do anything to be with you. And I swear, they'll do anything. The roach or the rat has a peace offering for you. Do you want cheese or do you want pieces of garbage? But they want you. Are they coming into you? Yep. They'll do anything. They'll do. The, they'll do anything. Even if you have another option, Capricorn, they'll do anything to secure their spot in your life. Obsessed. I don't know, I see you kind of moving moving things along to calm waters with this person though in your future actions here. I feel like you're gonna give this person a shot. It's what I'm getting here. A legitimate shot. It's like Star Search. You get a shot. <laughs> you had time to think about it. You've had options, you explored it. Now you're gonna see if this one here is gonna work out with them. Because I feel like you were dating people while you guys were were apart or something like that. And um, maybe it didn't work out with somebody, so you turned to this person again. They've always been there, basically. <laughs> for a lot of you guys, you guys were, um, for the other connection you were dealing with before this person, you kind of got hurt by this person by that person and it kind of drove you to go to this person but again you don't know for sure if you really want to deal with this person I don't know if that making sense so what's your advice
it's like you're just not sure it's like it's like you're not sure just be your best you and see what who stays and who goes i guess that's what it's giving me all right Let's see what the um singles There's a person here who know, some of you guys are dealing with somebody else right now. And there's a person here who I guess you guys had unfinished business with. They look at this as your connection with this other person as a, as a burden or a sense of betrayal. They don't like the fact that you juggled them. What else are we getting here? You have an unhealthy attachment to somebody. I feel like someone who has money. It's like you guys were lovers. But it's an unhealthy attachment. Or you guys are, are together and you guys have a toxic bond. There's a person who loves you and they don't care if you are dealing with someone else. They're willing to cut that competition out and because they can't get you out their head. It could be a water sign here that wants to give to you. They want to turn things around. They can't stop thinking about your cornbread. They said it's better than Jiffy. All right, so let's move on to the spiritual guides. All right, we have sacred self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance with the sacred rhythm of life. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your own purpose. That's nice right there. Orion, psychic insight. Your third eye is opening. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. All right. That's not it. All right. It's up to you to find beauty in the ugliest of days. Everyone survives. <clears throat> Everyone survived some super shitty days. But even when it comes to those crappiest of crap days, if you look back, you are pretty always make sure to find something beautiful. Maybe someone has unexpected, unexpectedly kind to you or for a split second. The starly and gold sunset made you forget your life was crumbling, or perhaps there was a donuts with sprinkles at your first AA meeting. The trick is to train yourself to spot the beauty in every very moment, aka real time. It makes the ugliest of days a little less ugly. Call upon the tarot gods and end this motherfucker right now. If you like this video, be sure to like share and subscribe to this channel. Love to have you guys back.